And you, you never you never knew when you were commentating quite where it was coming from, did you? Yeah. I mean, sometimes he he totally propelled it overnight because he said funny things and didn't didn't flicker. I mean, Jonas was a great giggler, and yeah, and when he said things that he wasn't, it just came out. He'd perhaps move on half a sentence, then suddenly it would, what he had said would hit him, and then he he'd really start, and the whole box would, would absolutely yeah. shake, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because I mean, you, there were great gigglers. Um, I mean, there was Frindle. He was a tremendous giggler, and and, and you had your day. <laughs> a few, yes. Uh, but uh, John, is, John is rather like Agus now, likes to make other people giggle if, if he possibly can. So those ones that he used to work out overnight were the ones that he was planting to make the others laugh. Although we have to say that the one thing he never said, which is a rumour always had it that he always said, was uh, the bowlers holding the batsman's willy. Because... <laughs> Well, it was always thought to have said that, but when he died, sadly, he put his cue in the rack in January 94, and there was an enormous memorial service at Westminster Abbey, and they did all of Jonas's favourite things. They played on the organ in Westminster Abbey, if you can beat it, the theme song of Neighbours, because yeah. Jonas loved Neighbours, and his fellow lover of Neighbours was John Paul Getty. And after every programme, they spoke for never less than 45 minutes on the telephone about what had just happened and what was going to happen next time. The programme wasn't that long. <laughs> well, I know. And, and, and also in the Abbey, they wanted to play the tape of the bowlers holding the batsman's willy. And that with every ball of every test match where Michael Holding and Peter Willie were playing and Jonas was commentating was um, played through. And it wasn't there. But there was a snag, wasn't there? He never actually said it. Um, and we're pretty sure he never said it because uh, we got what it came from. It was a letter that was sent to Brian saying, you must be more careful. You know what you said. The bowler's holding the bats of Willie. And John has read out the letter on the air. But he said, he said to me, he said, I, I, I'm sure I didn't say it. We knew that if he had said it, someone would have heard it. He himself would have, would have laughed. There's He'd no, have loved to have said it, wouldn't he? He'd love to have said it. <laughs> but... Um, Frindle would certainly have, have chuckled. But I mean, the, the, the person but who the, wrote the this letter... Well, that's the other, that was the other slight clue, <laughs> that the letter was signed by a Miss Tess Tickle. 